Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, several times now we've asked the Attorney General about her changes to BC's beer and wine taxes and the wholesale price system. The Attorney General promised that her wholesale price taxes for beer, wine and spirits, quote, isn't about changing prices for consumers, unquote. But this week, the Liquor Distribution Branch released a report that said the Attorney General's changes have led to price increases for over 5,300 different products. That's almost one in five of the products sold in BC. These price increases will certainly be passed on to consumers. So to the Attorney General, Honourable Speaker, will she stand up and take responsibility for increasing beer, wine and spirits prices in this province? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, as the members know, we embarked upon an extremely successful liquor policy review, uh, whereby the Parliamentary Secretary for Liquor made uh, 73 recommendations which government is pursuing. One of the strong pieces that came out of that, Madam Speaker, was the desire of industry, of, of retailers, for a, a level playing field. And that is what we are doing, Madam Speaker, with the new wholesale pricing, which will come into effect on the 1st of April. Madam Speaker, the suppliers have now given their prices to the liquor distribution branch, and it is the case that for the large majority of products, the prices will be the same within a few cents or lower. Oh. That's 83% of the products, Madam Speaker. It is the case, Madam Speaker, that a few products will be going up, but some of that is a result, Madam Speaker, of suppliers taking advantage of the government's changes on the April 1st and raising their prices unnecessarily. Our liquor distribution branch is working with those suppliers, Madam Speaker, because this is not the occasion just to take advantage of the moment and put your prices up. But Madam Speaker, we are committed to a level playing field. That's where we're going on April 1st. Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Honourable Speaker, we're hearing about a conspiracy of the suppliers of 5,300 different products to undermine this Attorney General. That's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> BC stores and restaurants deserve to know how much they'll be paying for products on April 1st when this Minister's changes come in. But instead of certainty, this Attorney General has created only confusion. Restaurants and stores that visit the LDB website to find prices are told, quote, please close and refresh your browser to ensure you are viewing the most current documents, unquote. Well, why would they do this? Because wholesale prices will be, quote, updated online in real time. We'd like the Attorney General's best advice. For people running in businesses in British Columbia, how often should they have to hit the refresh button each day to find out how much they're paying for beer and wine and spirits in this province? Madam Attorney. Madam Madam Speaker, there is a price list for the 1st of April. The branch is still in conversation with some of the suppliers, but the price list uh, will be, is, is available right now for the 1st of April. But Madam Speaker, I have, I have a piece of information for the member opposite. Prices don't stay fixed in time forever and ever. They do change, and they will change over time. There's a, a, a decreased value of the dollar. Um, there are regular price increases that suppliers have over time. So, Madam Speaker, there's a price list for the 1st of April. Yes, indeed, and that price applies to every purchaser, the, the, the LRSs, the private stores, the government stores, the rural agency stores, and the independent wine stores. Everybody is purchasing at the same price as of April 1st, Madam Speaker. Member for Vancouver Hastings. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And Honourable Speaker, <clears throat> we know when we look at the companies who are facing some of the biggest hits, price increases in the 20% range, what we're looking at is many of the craft brewers in British Columbia, people like Central City, Cannery Brewing, Prohibition Brewing, and Driftwood. Now the minister is trying to blame a whole lot of other people, including those brewers, for the 5,300 products that the prices are going up in. Honourable Speaker, Will the, minister, will the minister tell us why she's trying to blame higher prices on the BC brewing industry and others when she knows it's her responsibility, 
because of this price uh, point that she's put in on the new single price. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, I believe that the member from Vancouver Hastings has a number of craft brewers in his riding. They are doing their business in a very favorable environment to craft brewing in all of British Columbia. That's why we have so many craft brewers sp springing up all around the world. They are producing a product that people like. And by the way, on Central City, the one that uh, the member opposite referenced, I would like to congratulate them because, in fact, the price of the Central City Red Racer IPA is going down 12.6%, going down 12.6%. This is a level playing field, Madam Speaker, and it comes into uh, force with all the other changes that government is making, some on starting on April 1st and many which are implemented already. These are driven by uh, very significant consumer demand, working constantly with industry so that we have a very good new regime starting on the 1st of April in British Columbia. Member for Vancouver Hastings on a supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And Honourable Speaker, there are a lot of uh, craft brewers in my constituency doing well, and they're very concerned that they're going to hit the wall on April 1st because of the irresponsible conduct of this minister. You know, this minister, the bellowing will stop at some point. At this point, Honourable Speaker. Member, member. Please continue. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker. What, as one of the craft brewers who wrote to us said, we've been forced to choose to lower our margins to stop our prices from shooting up suddenly. We know that there are brewers like Moon Underwater and Deep Cove that are facing 10% hikes. This, the Justice Minister, the Attorney General, has been told time and time again since the uh, report on liquor came out that the single wholesale price would be a problem. She was told that by her staff. She acknowledged that in estimates last year. Today she sings a different tune. This is not the producer's fault, it's not the brewer's fault, it's the minister's fault and the BC Liberals' fault that these prices are going up. Will the minister at least apologize for jacking the prices of beer and wine up across this province for British Columbians? That's what she's done. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, indeed that is not the case. As the success and growth of the craft brewery industry in British Columbia demonstrates. But Madam Speaker, it is too bad that the members opposite do not support the liquor policy review. Look at all the things that we have changed. Local wines can be sold at the farmer's market. Imagine that. Legions around British Columbia, which have often struggled for business, legions can now have children come in and have dinner with their parents. Imagine that. Businesses can alter their prices during the day. They can alter the price of a glass of beer during the day. Imagine that. We never had a No one can do it. So, Madam Speaker, there are positive changes for consumers, there are positive changes for producers, and British Columbia is moving into the modern age with its liquor policy. Thank you. Member for Kootenay West. Well, Honourable Speaker, breweries still have to deal with the increasing prices as well. And this Attorney General, well, she isn't taking these price increases lying down. 
She's got staff at the LDB calling every supplier of every one of over 5,000 products with higher prices. The staff are asking them to drop their prices so that the Attorney General doesn't have to take responsibility for the impact of her new tax system. And these are impacts, by the way, that were predicted months ago by industry experts. Can the Attorney General tell BC's brewers, distilleries and wineries why they should lay off staff and cut marketing costs so that she isn't embarrassed by the failure of her own policies? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, I believe that there is also a very vibrant craft brewery industry in the Kootenays, and they too produce wonderful products for British Columbia, so I congratulate them. Madam, Madam Speaker, we are changing our regime on the 1st of April. It is a single wholesale price that people will be purchasing the alcohol at. There's the uh, price, as I s have said on a number of occasions, the goal is that the price be more or less the same within a few cents on the 1st of April as it is on the 31st of March. That's the goal of the branch. That's the goal of government. But, Madam Speaker, these are all part of a large package of changes requested by consumers and industry in British Columbia, making our whole liquor industry, wine, beer and spirits, better for everyone in British Columbia. Here, here. West on a supplemental. Well, Madam Speaker, I think uh, breweries and, and producers in this province are starting to think this is a bad April 1st uh, fool's joke, so really bad. And then when we raised this issue in the House last week, we told the minister that her changes were, con were creating confusion in the industry. The minister stood, stood up and she told us that, well, we were wrong. She said, and I quote, people understand the concept now for the 1st of April. Well, she may have to change her mind again. One of the three reasons the LDB cites for the price increases, and I quote, simply confusion with how to calculate their sales prices under the new wholesale model, unquote. Will the minister now acknowledge that she's created confusion across the industry with her increasingly bizarre policy changes and reversals? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, I would like to give a compliment to the staff at the Liquor Distribution Branch who have done a really outstanding job over the last number of weeks and months reaching out to industry to making sure that people do understand the new system and how it will work on the 1st of April. But Madam Speaker, as I said, these are all part of the bigger liquor policy review. Let me mention a couple of other things that we're doing. Site licensing for events. Imagine, you can walk around an event now rather than being fenced up in a little beer garden. This is a novel thing in British Columbia, apparently. It's a, you see it around the rest of the world, but festivals around British Columbia, and I bet there's some in the Kootenays and the members' own riding that will be benefiting from this. Madam Speaker, there's a large package of changes to modernize BC's liquor laws. British Columbians, I am confident, are happy with the changes. Member for Surrey Wally. Honourable Speaker, many in the industry suspect that the government's changes to the beer and wine tax system are being driven by an Ernst & Young report on liquor pricing. This is a report that the uh, Attorney General has steadfastly refused to release to the public. We've asked about this report before. Will the Attorney General release this report in order to assure the public this report didn't warn her about higher prices caused by her new tax system? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, the pricing of alcohol is changing. It's gone to a wholesale price. There's a percentage formula which is being used. Those prices are now on the website of the liquor distribution branch. That's the information that people need, of course, to set their own prices, that retailers need to set their prices on the 1st of April, Madam Speaker. But, Madam Speaker, as I said, these are part of a package to make the, the, the industry and, the, and consumers have a better regime for liquor in British Columbia. Number 
for Suri Wally on a supplemental. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This Attorney General has other surprises up her sleeves, Honourable Speaker, when it comes to pricing. She's refusing to release the final prices that government stores will charge for BC wine, beer, and distilled products. She's also refusing to disclose how much tax the government will charge BC wineries that sell directly to restaurants. When will the businesses get this information? Just seven business days before the new tax system is implemented. How can the Attorney General justify providing small business with just seven business days notice of the impacts of her new tax system? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, this is a system that retailers have been asking for for over a decade now. Uh, it's, I'll just confirm another aspect of it, Madam Speaker, which is that the overall revenue to government is expected to be about the same. That's the goal of the new system. But Madam Speaker, there are adjustments. There's no question about that. It's a new system. But it's a system that has been asked for by retail. It's a system that will work for consumers and with all of the other package of, of things that have changed and will be continuing to change in liquor policy in British Columbia, they are good changes, Madam Speaker. Member for Nanaimo. So, Honourable P Speaker, let's get this straight. The rich get a 2% tax break, working people get an increase in the price of beer, and they've paid for the very report that's led to this fiasco in the first place. So, Honourable Speaker, I don't think it's unreasonable to ask from this side of the House, will the Minister do the right thing? The taxpayers have paid for the report, release the Ernst & Young report so that British Columbians know how much of a shafting they're getting as a result of this Minister's policies. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, let me mention a couple of other changes that people are extremely happy about. You can now get your special occasion license online. You used to have to drive across town two or three times to go to between different agencies. Now you can sit down at home at night and get your special occasion license. What a change that is. Madam Speaker, I will mention that um, we have, of course, throughout this, had an eye to health and safety. The, um, we've worked very closely with health and safety advocates to make sure that the new regime that we are putting in place around alcohol in British Columbia it continues to make sure that people are safe and that alcohol is managed safely. Uh, Madam Speaker, the other big change which is happening on the 1st of April, of course, is that liquor may go into grocery. All of those things are accompanied by a new price list, which is available, Madam Speaker. These are good changes for British Columbia. Thank you, Minister. 